Have you heard the latest wellness rumour? Supposedly, eating too much protein turns your steak into sugar, making your high-protein meal no better than a donut. This myth has sparked protein phobia, especially in low-carb circles, where people obsess over every extra gram of chicken or egg, fearing it will sabotage ketosis. The idea is that your body is just waiting to flood your system with glucose from protein, but is there any truth to this? Yes. The body can make glucose from non-carbohydrate sources, a process called gluconeogenesis. But the myth exaggerates this into a metabolic disaster. Evolutionarily, it makes little sense for our bodies to waste precious protein by turning it into sugar when fat is available for energy. As we'll see, our bodies are far more efficient and sensible than these modern myths suggest. Gluconeogenesis, literally making new sugar, lets your liver create glucose from things like lactate, glycerol, and certain amino acids. This isn't a flaw, it's a survival mechanism, ensuring your brain and red blood cells get the glucose they need, even without carbs. Here's the key. Gluconeogenesis is mostly demand-driven, not supply-driven. Your body only converts protein to sugar when blood glucose drops too low, not just because you ate a big steak. Think of it like a thermostat. The heat only kicks in when needed. Research shows the body prioritizes amino acids for building and repair, not for fuel. Using them for glucose is a last resort. This process ramps up during fasting or extreme low-carb diets, not after every protein-rich meal. The myth ignores how tightly regulated this system is. Your body isn't sabotaging you, it's keeping you alive and stable. Gluconeogenesis is a metabolic hero, not a villain. But despite what you might hear from the same gurus online, in rare cases, like rabbit starvation when someone eats far more protein than the body can use for its main jobs, gluconeogenesis can become supply-driven. So your protein shake isn't turning into a sugar bomb, it's fueling your body's real needs. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like comment and subscribe for more science-backed nutrition insights. And if you're serious about the carnivore diet, check out the Beef Up Carnivore Bible and Carnivore Optimized eBooks, top resources recommended by leading coaches to help you thrive. If protein really turned into sugar, we'd see blood sugar spikes after high protein meals. But studies by doctors Nuttall and Gannon found no significant increase in blood glucose after participants ate large amounts of protein blood sugar stayed stable, contradicting the myth. This has been replicated in study after study. Protein barely impacts blood sugar in healthy people. Protein does trigger a small insulin response, but nothing like the chaos carbs can cause. Gluconeogenesis only ramps up during fasting or true energy need, not after a steak dinner. Even in type 2 diabetes, protein doesn't cause dangerous blood sugar spikes. The evidence is clear. High protein meals don't equal high blood sugar. The myth simply isn't supported by science. So why do some people feel jittery or sleep poorly when starting a low-carb or carnivore diet? It's not the protein, it's the hormonal shift as your body adapts to less carbohydrate. Cutting carbs triggers stress hormones like cortisol and adrenaline, which mobilize energy and kickstart gluconeogenesis. This can make you feel wired or anxious, but it's a temporary adaptation, not a protein problem. Your body is learning to burn fat and ketones for fuel, running two systems at once. Managing electrolytes and staying hydrated can ease this transition. Don't blame the protein, it's just along for the ride. Once adapted, most people feel stable and energetic. Dr. Jose Antonio's team put the protein to sugar myth to the test by having people eat massive amounts of protein, up to 4.4 grams per kilogram of body weight. That's over 350 grams a day for some participants on top of their normal diet. If the myth were true, they should have gained fat rapidly. But they didn't. Despite the calorie surplus, participants gained almost no body fat. Instead, some even gained muscle without extra training. The body didn't convert all that protein to sugar and fat. It used it for muscle and ramped up metabolism. These studies are a direct refutation of the myth. Even extreme protein intake doesn't automatically lead to fat gain. Why didn't Dr. Antonio's subjects gain fat? Enter the thermic effect of food, TEF. Protein requires 20-30% of its calories just to be digested and processed, far more than carbs or fat. So eating protein gives you a calorie discount. High protein diets boost metabolism, making weight loss and maintenance easier. Protein also preserves muscle during weight loss, keeping your metabolic rate higher. More muscle means more calories burned at rest. Plus, protein is the most filling macronutrient, reducing hunger and overall calorie intake. 
Quick question for you. What's your experience with high-protein diets? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. And if you want the best written resources on the carnivore diet, check out the Beef Up Carnivore Bible and Carnivore Optimized eBooks, both endorsed by top carnivore coaches. It's a triple win, burns more calories, protects muscle and keeps you full. That's why protein is so effective for healthy body composition. Don't fear it, leverage it. The carnivore diet is a real-world test of the protein sugar myth. With almost zero carbs and high protein, followers should have high blood sugar, if the myth were true. But long-term carnivores report stable, low blood sugar and good metabolic health. Why? The body adapts using fat and ketones for fuel and only makes the small amount of glucose needed. Gluconeogenesis becomes a precise, demand-driven process, not a runaway sugar factory. Protein is used for repair, not wasted as sugar. The carnivore experience debunks the myth. High protein doesn't mean high blood sugar. The body is smarter than that. Let's recap and finally bury this myth. Gluconeogenesis is demand-driven, not triggered by eating protein. Studies show high-protein meals don't spike blood sugar. Adaptation symptoms on low-carb diets are hormonal, not a protein problem. Overfeeding studies prove even massive protein intake doesn't cause fat gain. Protein boosts metabolism, preserves muscle and keeps you full. It's a partner in fat loss, not an enemy. The next time you hear someone warn about protein turning into sugar, remember? It's a myth. Your body values protein too much to waste it. Enjoy your steak, guilt-free. The myth is busted. Protein won't turn you into a sugar factory. Science shows protein is essential for muscle, metabolism and appetite control. Free yourself from protein phobia. Make high quality protein the foundation of your meals. Listen to your body and consult a professional if you have health conditions. Don't accept dietary dogma. Look at the evidence and experiment for yourself. For most, embracing protein is transformative for health and body composition. The power to optimize your health is in your hands. Start by letting go of the myths that hold you back. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button, drop your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe for more myth-busting nutrition content. And if you're ready to take your carnivore journey to the next level, check out the Beef Up Carnivore Bible and Carnivore Optimized eBooks. Trusted by top carnivore coaches as the best resources out there. Carnivore Optimized. This isn't just an ebook, it's a call to arms. This is a radical blueprint for those who refuse to bow to the modern health crisis. It's built on ancestral truth, forged in pain, and written by Jonathan Griffiths, autistic athlete, spine disease warrior, and founder of Carnivore Muscle. This 80 plus page guide dismantles the lies we've been sold and hands the power back to you. You'll learn why meat heals and fake food harms, how to restore energy, hormones, and focus, strength training without burnout, tools to beat fatigue, gut issues, and brain fog, how to stay strong in a weak world. Every purchase is a stand against the globalist agenda, fueling a movement to return health, power, and freedom back to the people. Rebuild yourself, reclaim your fire, own your biology, Download now.